everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Trico. Hi, Stomp and Chirp. Hi, Lennon. Hello, Scoff. Hello, Jangle. You're playing the senses game today. Can we play too? We promise to look and listen very carefully. Seeing and tasting, hearing and smelling, feeling, and there we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Count our senses with me now. My eyes let me see things. I look here. Ready to play the senses game. Remember everyone, to help Chickpea discover who's hiding, we need to look and listen very carefully. And if you can guess who it is, don't forget to shout his name out loudly. Which one of Chickpea's friends is hiding here? Look, he has a yellow mane, two ears, Two eyes, a nose, and he makes a sound like this. Listen. Can you guess who it is? Don't forget to shout out his name. That's right, it's Lennon. Well done, everyone. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures of Stomp and Treacle having lunch? Don't forget to look carefully. You're right. There's fruit in the bowl in this picture. But there isn't any fruit in the bowl in this picture. Well done, everyone, for spotting the difference. Are you ready to play the senses game again? Remember, we need to look and listen very carefully. Which one of Chickpea's friends is hiding this time? Look, she's got two brown and yellow ears. Two eyes. One nose. And she makes a sound like this. Listen. Can you guess who it is? Don't forget to shout out her name. Yes, it's Jangle. Well done, everyone. Story time. Today's story is called Scoff's Biscuits. Scoff was having a very lazy day relaxing in his bed. All of a sudden, the sweet smell of baking wafted upstairs from the kitchen. Mmm, <gasps> thought Scoff, licking his lips. It must be Jangle baking gingerbread men for tea. 
Now, we all know how much Scoff loves his food. One biscuit would never be enough for him. So he hatched a plan to trick his friends into bringing him as many biscuits as possible. Ow, ow, ow! My leg! cried Scoff loudly in the hope that someone would hear him. Chirp flew into Scoff's room. What's the matter, Scoff? she asked. I've hurt my leg running upstairs, he said. Oh dear, is there anything I can do to help you feel better? Well, I'd love one of those gingerbread men Jangle has been baking. Oh, but I don't think I can walk down the... Before Scoff had finished his sentence, Chirp had flown downstairs to the kitchen and returned, carrying not one, but two gingerbread men for her friend. You can have mine as well to cheer you up, she said kindly, and she disappeared out of the window to play football with the others. Before long, Lennon appeared. Are you coming to play football, Scoff? he asked. Oh, I'd love to, but I've hurt my leg. I was going to get one of those lovely gingerbread men that Jangles baked, but... Uh... Don't you worry, interrupted Lennon. Stay here and rest. I'll fetch one for you. Lennon was soon back carrying two biscuits. You can have mine too, he said. Scoff couldn't believe his luck and he scoffed the biscuits greedily. But he started to feel guilty. Oh dear, there aren't going to be enough biscuits left for everyone. Luckily, all the animals were out playing football. So Scoff decided to bake some more biscuits for his friends. He had just put the last gingerbread man onto the cooling tray when his friends returned. I'm surprised these are still warm, said Jangle. I baked them ages ago. Aren't you having yours, Scoff? asked Chickpea. Uh, no, thank you. I've already had my share. Uh, by the way, my leg is feeling much better now, so count me in for the next game of footy. <laughs> Are you ready to play the senses game one more time? Great. Look, this little friend has two ears, two eyes, One nose and makes a sound like this. Listen. Can you guess who it is? Don't forget to shout out his name. Yes, it's Scoff. Well done, everyone. We've had so much fun today. See you for more adventures with Chickpea and Friends next time. Seeing and tasting, hearing and smelling, feeling, and there we go. One, two, three, four, and five, count our senses with me now. My eyes let me see things, I look here and everywhere. My nose lets me smell things like the cake that's over there. Seeing and tasting.
everyone. Are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Treacle. Hi, Stomp and Chirp. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scott. <laughs> hello, Jangle. You're going on an adventure under the sea? Can we come too? Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them everyone Oh, can you spot the octopus with its eight legs, do you see? And over there's a jellyfish, I hope it won't sting me. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them, everyone. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them. Hi, Lennon and Scoff. You sound excited. Meow, 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 meow. You've seen a creature with five arms? Meow, 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 meow. Do you know what Lennon and Scoff have seen? Let's join the dots together and find out. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. Lennon and Scoff have seen a starfish. Starfish have five arms. Today's number. Starfish. Five. Hello, Chickpea. Do you want to play a game with us? Can you match the shadow to its picture? Is it... A fish, a crab, or is it an octopus? An octopus? Let's see if you're right. Done, everyone. It's an octopus. <laughs> story time. Today's story is called Frank the Crab. The sky was blue, the sun was shining, and the animals were having a lovely time on the beach. Stomp was playing ball in the sea with Jangle. Lennon the lion was sunbathing with Chickpea and Chirp. Treacle was building a sandcastle. And Scoff 
Well, he was having his own little adventure down by the rock pool, looking at all sorts of sea creatures swimming in the water. Suddenly, Scoff heard someone crying. A boo hoo 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 He looked around and saw a little crab on one of the rocks. Hello, said Scoff gently. What's wrong? Why are you crying? I haven't got any friends, answered the crab. No one wants to play with me. All the other sea creatures are scared of me. But why? asked Scoff. Because I've got big claws. Suddenly, the little crab waved his claws in front of Scoff. Wow! said Scoff, smiling. But aren't you afraid of them too? asked the crab. Afraid? No! Those are awesome! I've only got a little tail. Look! Scoff shook his tail and the little crab smiled. He liked Scoff. He was funny. My name's Frank, he said. What's yours? Scoff, he replied. Hey, Frank, you've got to meet my friends. They're all so different from each other. You'd love them. I'll be back now. And off he went. Before long, all the animals were down by the rock pool meeting Frank. Hello, I'm Stomp the Elephant and I've got a big strong trunk. I'm Lennon and I can roar really loudly. <coughs> My name's Jangle and I've got a very long neck. Wow, yes you have, said Frank looking up. I'm Chirp. I can't swim like you but I can fly. Hi, I'm Treetle and I have three legs and a wheel. And my name is Chickpea. I love meeting new friends and I think your claws are great. Frank was so happy. You see, said Scoff, we might all be different but we're all great friends. And Frank made not one but seven new friends that day. Look everyone, Chirp and Stomp have been exploring under the sea. Can you spot the difference between these two pictures? Look carefully. You're right, there's a crab in this picture, but not in this one. Well done everyone for spotting the difference. We've had fun exploring under the sea today. See you for more fun with Chickpea and friends next time. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that live here, come and meet them everyone. Oh, can you spot the octopus with its eight legs, do you see? And over there's a jellyfish, I hope it won't sting me. Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Creatures that live here, come and meet them, everyone. Now I can see a smiling shark with its teeth so sharp and bright. And look at all the starfish with their five arms, what a sight! Let's all swim beneath the waves, it's magical fun. Let's see the creatures that. Everyone, are you ready to go on an adventure with Chickpea and her friends? Don't forget to say the magic words. Clap your hands and off we go. Chickpea and friends, come and say hello. Hello, Chickpea. Hello, Treacle. Hi, Stomp and Chirp. Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scoff. <laughs> hello, Jangle. 
You're all going to play outside? How exciting! Can we come too? <laughs> On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Skip and jump, playing games with friends and playing dressing up. I love the park, I love the swing, I always have such fun. And sliding down the slide is great. Come on now, everyone! On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Sometimes let's pretend The seaside is a good place For running on the sun We are noisier than monkeys And louder than a band On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday Thursday, Friday, hooray On Saturday and Sunday Let's go outside and play On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday everyone. Chickpea said they were all going to play outside. Oh, here you are. <laughs> Hi, Lennon. Hi, Scoff. You're playing hide and seek? <laughs> You're right, Scoff. It's a great game to play, inside or outside. Oh, listen. What's that noise? It's coming from the playground. Let's go and find out what it is. Look, everyone, it's Stomp and Jangle. They're spinning hula hoops. Jangle's long neck is perfect for twirling a hula hoop. Can we join in too, Jangle, and count how many times you can spin the hula hoop? <laughs> Ready, everyone? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, Jangle. You've spun the hula hoop ten times. I wonder what Chickpea and Chirp are doing. Let's go and find out. Hello, you two. You're having fun playing on the climbing frame, are you, Chickpea? Oh. <laughs> and look at Chirp, everyone. She's having a great time sliding down the slide. Up you go, Chickpea. And down you come. Chirp, are you going to slide down the slide again? <gasps> Whee! <laughs> You're right, Chickpea. Playing on the climbing frame is fun. Opposites. Up. Down. Up, down, opposites. Story time. Today's story is called Hide and Seek. The animals were in the living room playing hide and seek. I'll count first said Chickpea. I'm great at hiding, added Stomp. Everyone knows that I'm the best at hiding, replied Scoff. You'll never find me. All the animals thought the same, that Chickpea would never find them. So, as they all disappeared to their hiding places, Chickpea closed her eyes, put her little wings over them, and without peeking, she started to count. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. 
Chickpea decided to start her search in the garden. But she didn't have to look far. As soon as she stepped outside, Chickpea saw Stomp right in front of her, hiding behind a tree. Chickpea started to giggle. The tree which Stomp had chosen was very small and very narrow, and Stomp, well, Stomp's an elephant, and we all know that elephants are pretty big. But Chickpea didn't want to spoil Stomp's fun, so she pretended not to see him. Nobody here, she said, and moved on to the shed. As she opened the shed door, Chickpea heard a familiar laugh and then a sneeze. She saw one little orange paw, one brown paw and a hairy mane poking out from behind the wheelbarrow. It was Scoff, Treacle and Lennon. Once again, she pretended not to see them. <gasps> Nobody in here either, she said loudly. Chickpea returned to the house to get a drink of water. But as she sat down, she noticed something moving on the table. It was Chirp, trying to hide behind a small pink cup. Once again, Chickpea pretended that she hadn't seen a thing. <gasps> oh, I can't see anyone in the kitchen, she said, grinning. Chickpea walked into the living room and saw a very strange lamp. It was Jangle, trying her very best to hide behind the lampshade, but her neck was so long her head was poking out over the top. <laughs> Chickpea giggled and sighed. Oh, I can't find my friends anywhere. Before long, all the animals came out of their hiding places to join Chickpea in the living room. You see, Chickpea, we are the best at hiding, boasted Lennon. Chickpea laughed but said nothing. She didn't want to spoil their fun. <laughs> Chickpea and her friends are having a very busy day today. They've played hide and seek, spun hula hoops, played on the climbing frame and now they're skipping. Chickpea's short legs are perfect for jumping over the rope. Can we join in too, Chickpea, and count how many times you can jump? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Well done, Chickpea. You've jumped over the rope five times. Those little legs of yours must be really tired now. <laughs> See you for more adventures with Chickpea and her friends next time. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Skip and jump, playing games with friends and playing dressing up. I love the park, I love the swing, I always have such fun. And sliding down the slide is great. Come on now, everyone! On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hooray! On Saturday, Sometimes let's pretend that